Hey everyone, it's Arby! Come and learn to spell with me! So come on, let's learn our ABCs. Everyone come along and spell with me. Let's fly through the sky with our friend RB. Everyone come along and spell with me. Hello boys and girls. Welcome to Spell With Me. I'm Miss Buzzy. And today I'm going to teach you all about words that start with A, B, K, D and E. Luckily, I have Arby here to help me. For today's video, we have some extra special helpers here. They are going to show us how to say A, B, K, D and E. Let's start with A. Say hello to our amazing friend. Alligator. An alligator is an animal. Can you say animal? That was good. Let's say animal again. We get the sound a from the letter a. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. A. A. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. A. A. We spell alligator, animal and amazing with the letter A. Alligator, how do you spell your name? A. O. O. I. G. A. T. O. U. Wow, that's a long name. Alligator, will you spell it again? A O O I G A T O U It's an amazing name for an animal. Let's all spell alligator. Come on everyone. A O L L I G A T O U Thank you, alligator. Your name is perfect for learning how to say a. Ah. Next, we're going to learn how to say b. For this sound, welcome our beautiful friend, bear. Bear is another type of animal. But wait, what does bear have with him? Look, bear has a beautiful blue balloon. There's that sound again. B. Let's practice by saying balloon. Are you ready, Bear? Great. Balloon. Nice work. Let's say balloon again. We get the sound B from the letter B. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. B. B. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. B. B. We spell bear, beautiful and balloon using the letter B. Bear, could you teach Arby's friends how to spell balloon? B. A. O. 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 M. Wow, that's a hard word. Bear, will you spell it again? B A O O O O M. Let's spell balloon with bear. Come on, everyone. B A L L O O O M. Thank you, Bear, for spelling and bringing a balloon today. It was the perfect way for us to learn how to say B. Now then, Arby, have you been paying attention so far? Yes? Are you sure? Let's go through these sounds again, just to be safe. We get the sound A 
from the letter A. We use the sound A to say words like alligator, amazing and animal. Practice saying it again. A. Nice work. One more time. A. Awesome. Now let's go back to B. We get the sound B from the letter B. We use the sound B to say words like bear, beautiful and balloon. Practice saying it again. B. You're doing great. One more time. Brilliant. I think we're ready to move on to K. For this sound, welcome our cool friend, cat. Cat is another type of animal. It looks like cat has brought something too. What is it? Ooh, it's candy. You brought it to teach us how to say K. Thanks, cat. Let's practice together by saying candy. Are you ready, cat? Let's say it. Candy. Super. Let's say it again. Candy. We get the sound K from the letter C. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. K. C. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. K. C. We spell cat, cool and candy using the letter C. Cat, could you teach Arby and his friends how to spell candy? K. A. Mm. D. Yeah. We all love candy. Cat, will you spell it again? K. A. Mm. D. Yeah. Yummy. This time, let's spell candy with cat. Come on, everyone. K. K. A. N. D. D. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, cat, for spelling and sharing your candy with the group. It was the perfect way for us to learn how to say K. Next, we're going to learn how to say D. For this sound, welcome our friend, dog. Dog is another type of animal. But what is dog doing? Oh no, dog has decided to dig up the garden. Look at this mess. Let's try to distract him by learning about D together. Let's practice by saying dig. Brilliant. You managed to distract dog. Let's say dig again. We get the sound D from the letter D. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. D. D. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. D. D. We spell dog duck and dig using the letter D. Dog, stop digging and teach us how to spell dig. D. I. G. Dog, will you spell it again? D. I. G. Let's spell dig with dog. Come on everyone. D. D I. I. G. G. Thank you, dog. I wish you hadn't dug up the garden, but it was the perfect way for us to learn how to say D. Wow! We've nearly finished learning about the five sounds for today's video. We only have one sound left. Arby, can you remember what it is? Yes, it's E. Eh. And I've saved our most exciting friend for last. Elephant. Elephant is another type of animal. Did you know that elephants are one of the biggest animals on earth? Those two words, elephant and earth, use the sound e. Eh. 
Let's practice by saying the word earth. Are you ready, elephant? Excellent. Earth. Very good. Let's say earth again. We get the sound e eh from the letter e. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. E. Eh. E. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. E. Eh. E. We spell elephant exciting and elf using the letter E. Elephant, would you spell elf for us? E. Uh, o. Uh. It's such a nice word. Elephant, will you spell elf again? E. Uh, o. Uh. Let's spell elf with elephant. Come on, everyone. Uh, uh, L. Thank you, elephant. You were the perfect guest to teach us how to say e. Eh. You did a lot of work today, Arby. Remember, practice makes perfect. Let's go through these five sounds again. We get the sound a ah, from the letter a. We use the sound a ah, to say words like alligator. Amazing and animal. Practice saying it again. Ah. One more time. Ah. Awesome. We get the sound b from the letter b. We use the sound b to say words like bear, beautiful, and balloon. Practice saying it again. B. One more time. Brilliant! We get the sound k from the letter c. We use the sound k to say words like cat, cool, and candy. Practice saying it again. K. One more time. K. Cool. We get the sound d from the letter d. We use the sound d. To say words like dog, duck, and dig. Practice saying it again. D. One more time. D. Delightful. You've been working so hard today, and we just have one more left. We get the sound e eh from the letter e. We use the sound e eh to say words like elephant. Exciting and elf. Practice saying it again. E. Eh. One more time. E. Eh. Exactly. Wow! Excellent work, everyone. I'm going to teach you all about words that start with f, g, h, i, and j. Of course. I have Arby here to help me. Let's say hello, Arby. For today's video, we have some extra special helpers here. They are going to show us how to say f, g, h, i, and j. Let's start with f. Say hello to our funny friend, Fox. A fox is an animal. Can you say fox? That was good. Let's say fox again. We get the sound f from the letter f. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. F. F. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. F. We spell words like fox, fly, and football with the letter F. Fox. How do you spell your name? F. O. X. What a fabulous name! Fox. Will you spell it again? F. O. X. Now let's. 
all spell fox. Fox. Thank you, fox. Your name is perfect for learning how to say f. Next, we're going to learn how to say g. For this sound, welcome our great friend, goat. Goat is another type of animal. Let's say goat. Are we ready? Great! Goat. Nice work. Let's say goat again. We get the sound g from the letter G. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. G. G. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. G. G. We spell goat, great and grapes using the letter G. Arby, shall we teach your friends how to spell goat? G. O. A. T. Did you get that? Let's spell goat again. G. O. A. T. One more time. Come on, everyone. G. O. Thank you for joining us, Goat. Your name was the perfect way for us to learn how to say G. Now then, Arby, have you been paying attention so far? Yes? Are you sure? Let's go through these sounds again, just to be safe. We get the sound F from the letter F. We use the sound F to say words like fox, fly and football. Practice saying it again. F. Nice work! One more time. F. Fabulous! Now, let's go back to G. We get the sound G from the letter G. We use the sound G to say words like goat, great and grapes. Practice saying it again. G. You're doing really well. Let's say it again. Groovy. I think we're ready to move on to H. For this sound, say hello to our friend Hippo. Hippo is another type of animal. Hippo is short for the name Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus is a very long word. Lucky for us, Hippo is much easier to say. Let's practice saying Hippo. Are you ready? Let's say it. Hippo. Wonderful! Let's say it again. Hippo. We get the sound H from the letter H. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. H. H. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. H. H. We spell words like hippo, hand and hello using the letter H. Let's practice spelling hippo. I, p, p, o. Come on, Arby, join in and let's spell it again. I, p, p, o. Once more, remember, hippo is spelt with two P's. I, Oh, thank you, Hippo, for coming to say hello and helping the group learn how to say <sighs> Next, we're going to learn how to say I. 
For this sound, welcome an interesting friend, iguana. Iguana is another type of animal, specifically a reptile. Iguanas come from jungles in the Americas, and they're a perfect way to learn how to say i. Let's practice by saying iguana. Brilliant! Let's say iguana again. We get the sound i from the letter i. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. I. I. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. I. I. We spell iguana, ink and igloo using the letter I. Iguana is a hard word to spell. So let's learn how to spell ink instead. Ink comes in lots of different colours and we use it to write. We spell ink I N K Again, we spell ink I N K Let's spell it once more as a group. Come on everyone! I N K Thank you, Iguana! I is an important sound to know. So thank you for coming along to help. Wow! We've nearly finished learning about the five sounds for today's lesson. We only have one sound left. Arby, can you remember what that sound is? Yes, it's J. And I've saved this jolly guest for last. Our friend, Jellyfish. Jellyfish is another animal. They live in water and can be found in seas and oceans around the world. Two words I just said, jolly and jellyfish, use the sound j. Let's practice by saying the word jolly. Are you ready, jellyfish? Excellent! Jolly. Very good. Let's say jolly again. We get the sound j from the letter j. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. J. J. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. J. J. We spell jellyfish, jolly and jump using the letter J. Jellyfish. Shall we learn how to spell jolly? J. O, ol, ol, y. Don't forget that jolly is spelt with two L's. So let's practice. J, o, ol, ol, y. Say it a little louder this time so jellyfish can hear you. J, o, ol. Ol, y. Thank you, jellyfish. You were the perfect guest to teach us how to say j. You and your friends did a lot of work today, Arby. Well done. And remember, practice makes perfect. So let's go through these five sounds again. We get the sound f from the letter f. We use the sound to say words like fox, fly and football. Practice saying it again. F. One more time. F. Fantastic! We get the sound g from the letter g. We use the sound g to say words like goat, great and grapes. Practice saying it again. G. One more time. G. Great! We get the sound H from the letter H. 
we use the sound to say words like hippo, hand and hello. Practice saying it again. One more time. Hooray! We get the sound I from the letter I. We use the sound I to say words like iguana, ink and igloo. Practice saying it again. I. One more time. I. Incredible! You've been working so hard today and we just have one more letter left. We get the sound J from the letter J. We use the sound J to say words like jellyfish, jolly and jump. Practice saying it again. J. One more time. J. Just look at you go. You've done amazing work. I'm going to teach you all about words that start with k, l, m, n, and o. Of course, I have Arby here to help me, as well as some extra special helpers. They are going to show us how to say k, l, m, n, and o. Let's start with k. Say hello to our friend koala. A koala is an animal. Can you say koala? That was good. Let's say koala again. We get the sound k from the letter k. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. K. K. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. K. K. We spell words like koala, kite and kind with the letter K. Koala, do you want to hear how we spell your name? K. O. A. L. A. Koala, shall I spell it again? K O A L A Now let's all spell koala K O A L A Thank you koala your name is perfect for learning how to say k Next we're going to learn how to say l for this sound, welcome our great friend, lion. Lion is another type of animal. Let's say lion. Lion. Nice work. Let's say lion again. We get the sound L from the letter L. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. L. L. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. L. L. We spell lion, lolly and lizard using the letter L. Arby, shall we teach your friends how to spell lion? L. I. O. N. Did you get that? Let's spell lion again. L I O N Let's spell it once more as a group. L I O N Thank you for joining us, Lion. Your name was the perfect way for us to learn how to say L. Now then, Arby, have you been paying attention so far? Yes? Are you sure? Let's go through these sounds again, just to be safe. We get the sound K from the letter K. We use the sound K to say words like koala, kite and kind. Practice saying it again. K. Nice work. One more time. K. 
Kuh. Cool. Now let's go back to L. We get the sound L from the letter L. We use the sound L to say words like lion, lolly, and lizard. Practice saying it again. L. You're doing really well. Let's say it again. Lovely. I think we're ready to move on to M. For this sound, say hello to our friend Monkey. Monkey is another type of animal. Let's practice saying monkey. Are you ready? Let's say it. Monkey. Wonderful. Let's say it again. Monkey. We get the sound M mm from the letter M. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. M. M. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. M. M. We spell words like monkey, mother, and merry using the letter M. Let's practice spelling monkey. M. O. N. K. E. Y. Come on, Arby. Let's spell monkey again. M. O. N. K. E. Y. One more. M. O. N. K. E. Y. Thank you for swinging by, monkey, and helping the group learn how to say M. Next. We're going to learn how to say N. We spell words like noise, nose, and mute using N. Let's practice by saying nose. A nose is part of the body, which we use to smell. Let's say nose. Brilliant! Let's say nose again. We get the sound N from the letter N. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. N, N. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. N, N. A nose is a part of the body, and we use it to smell things. We spell nose. N, O, S, E. Again. We spell nose, n, o, s, e. Let's spell it once more as a group. Come on, everyone. N, o, s, e. N is an important sound to know, just as a nose is an important part of the body. Wow. We've nearly finished learning about the five sounds for today's lesson. We only have one sound left. Arby, can you remember what that sound is? Yes, it's o.、Oh. And I've saved this orange guest for last. Our friend octopus. Octopus is another type of animal. They live in the ocean and have eight legs. Amazing. Two words I said to introduce our newest friend, orange and octopus, use the sound o.、Oh. Let's practice by saying the word orange. Are you ready, octopus? Excellent. Orange. Very good. Let's say orange again. We get the sound o、oh、from the letter o.、Oh. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. O. O. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. O. O. We spell orange, octopus, and organ using the letter O. Octopus. Shall we learn how to spell orange? O. R. N, g, e, 
Let's practice spelling orange again. O, er, a, n, g, e. Say it a little louder this time so octopus can hear you. O, er, a, n, g, e. Thank you, octopus. You were the perfect guest to teach us how to say O. Oh. You and your friends did a lot of work today, Arby. Well done! And remember, practice makes perfect. So let's go through these five sounds again. We get the sound K from the letter K. We use the sound K to say words like koala, kite and kind. Practice saying it again. K. One more time. K. Cool. We get the sound L from the letter L. We use the sound L to say words like lion, lolly and lizard. Practice saying it again. L. One more time. L. Legendary. We get the sound M from the letter M. We use the sound M to say words like monkey, mother and Mary. Practice saying it again. M. One more time. M. Marvellous. We get the sound N from the letter N. We use the sound N to say words like nose, noise and neat. Practice saying it again. N. One more time. N. Nice. You've been working so hard today and we just have one more letter left. We get the sound O from the letter O. We use the sound O to say words like orange, octopus and organ. Practice saying it again. O. Oh. One more time. O. Oh. Outstanding! I'm going to teach you all about words that start with P, Qu, R, S and T. Of course, I have Arby here to help me as well as some extra special helpers. They are going to teach us how to say P, Qu, R, S and T. Let's start with P. Say hello to our perfect guest, Pig. A pig is an animal. Can you say Pig? That was good. Let's say pig again. We get the sound p from the letter p. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. P. P. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. P. P. We spell words like pig, pen and panda with the letter p. Pig, do you want to hear how we spell your name? It's spelt P I G. Shall I spell it again? P I G. Now let's all spell pig. P I G. Thank you, pig. Your name is perfect for learning how to say. Next, we're going to learn how to say qu. For this sound, welcome our great friend, Queen. A queen is a member of a royal family, along with a king, princes and princesses. Let's say queen. Nice work! Let's say queen again. We get the sound qu from the letter Q. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. Qu. Q. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. Qu. Q. 
We spell queen, quail and q using the letter q. Arby, shall we teach your friends how to spell queen? Qu O E E N Did you get that? Let's spell queen again. Qu O E E N One more time. Come on everyone. Qu O E E N Thank you for joining us, Queen. Your name was the perfect way for us to learn how to say qu. Now then, Arby, have you been paying attention so far? Yes? Are you sure? Let's go through these sounds again, just to be safe. We get the sound p from the letter p. We use the sound p to say words like pig. Pen and panda. Practice saying it again. P. Nice work. One more time. P. Perfect. Now let's go back to qu. We get the sound qu from the letter Q. We use the sound qu to say words like queen, quail and Q. Practice saying it again. Qu. You're doing really well. Let's say it again. Quality work, boys and girls. I think we're ready to move on to our third sound for today's lesson. R. For this sound, say hello to our friend, Rhino. Rhino is another type of animal. Rhino is short for the name rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is a very long word, so let's stick with rhino. Let's practice saying rhino. Are you ready? Let's say it. Rhino. Wonderful. Let's say it again. Rhino. We get the sound r from the letter r. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. R. R. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. R. R. We spell words like rhino, ruler and raccoon using the letter R. Let's practice spelling rhino. R. H. I. N. O. Come on, Arby. Let's spell rhino again. R, H, I, N, O. Once more. R, H, I, N, O. Thank you for joining us, Rhino, to help the group learn how to say R. Next, we're going to learn how to say S. For this sound, welcome our super friend, Squirrel. Squirrel is another type of animal. Squirrel is going to help you learn how to say s. Let's practice by saying squirrel. Brilliant! Let's say squirrel again. We get the sound s from the letter s. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. S. S. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. S. S. We spell squirrel, super and snake using the letter S. Squirrel is a hard word to spell. So let's learn how to spell super instead. We spell super S. O. P. E. R. Again, we spell super s o p e r. Let's spell it once more as a group. Come on, everyone. S 
o, p, e, u. S is an important sound to know. So thank you for dropping in to learn about it, Squirrel. Wow, we've nearly finished learning about the five sounds for today's lesson. We only have one sound left. T. And I've saved this terrific guess for last. Turkey. Turkey is another animal. Let's practice t by saying the word turkey. Are you ready? Turkey. Very good. Let's say turkey again. We get the sound t from the letter T. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. T. T. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. T. T. We spell turkey, terrific, and tiger using the letter T. Turkey, shall I show you how to spell your name? It's T. O, U, R, K, E, Y. Let's practice spelling turkey again. T, O, R, K, E, Y. One more time. T, O, R, K, E, Y. Thank you, Turkey. You were the perfect guest to teach us how to say t. You and your friends did a lot of work today, Arby. Well done. And remember, practice makes perfect. So let's go through these five sounds again. We get the sound p from the letter p. We use the sound p to say words like pig, pen, and panda. Practice saying it again. P. One more time. P. Perfect. We get the sound qu from the letter Q. We use the sound qu to say words like queen, quail, and Q. Practice saying it again. Qu. One more time. Qu. Quality work. We get the sound r from the letter r. We use the sound r to say words like rhino, ruler, and raccoon. Practice saying it again. R. One more time. R. Rock on. We get the sound s from the letter s. We use the sound. To say words like squirrel, super, and snake. Practice saying it again. S. One more time. S. Super. You've been working so hard today, and we just have one more letter left. We get the sound t from the letter t. We use the sound t to say words like. Turkey, terrific, and tiger. Practice saying it again. T. One more time. T. Terrific. U. V. W. X. Y. And Z. That's a lot to learn, but don't worry. We'll take our time, and you can practice as many times as you want. As usual, I have Arby here to help me, and some extra special helpers will join in to learn how to say u, v, w, x, y, and z. Let's start with u. We use u to spell words like umbrella, under, and usual. Let's practice saying u. With the word umbrella, that was good. Let's say umbrella again. We get the sound u、uh, from the letter u. 
Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. Uh, you. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. Uh, you. Let's practice spelling a word starting with uh. I'll choose a useful word to know how to spell. Under. It's spelt uh. Mm, d, e, r. Shall I spell it again? Uh, mm, d, e, r. Now let's all spell under. Uh, mm, d, e, r. Well done, everyone. You just learned how to say uh. Next. We're going to learn how to say V. We spell van, viper and view using V. Let's say van. Nice work! Let's say van again. We get the sound V from the letter V. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. V. V. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. V. V. We spell van, viper and view using the letter V. Arby, shall we teach your friends how to spell van? V. A. N. Did you get that? Let's spell van again. V, A, N. One more time. Come on, everyone. V, A, N. Great job learning how to say V, boys and girls. Next, we're going to learn about W. For this sound, wave hello to our next friend, Wasp. Wasp is an insect. Let's practice saying wasp. Are you ready? Let's say it. Wasp. Wonderful. Let's say it again. Wasp. We get the sound w from the letter w. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. W. W. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. W. W. We spell words like wasp, willow and wolf using the letter W. Let's practice spelling wasp. W. A. S. P. Come on, Arby. Let's spell wasp again. W. A. Once more. W. A. S. P. Thank you for joining us, Wasp, to help the group learn how to say W. Now then, Arby, have you been paying attention so far? Yes? Are you sure? Let's go through these sounds again, just to be safe. We get the sound U uh, from the letter you. We use the sound uh to say words like umbrella, under and usual. Practice saying it again. Uh. Nice work. One more time. Uh. Perfect. Now let's go back to v. We get the sound v from the letter v. We use the sound V to say words like van, viper and view. Practice saying it again. V. You're doing really well. Let's say it again. V. Very good. The last word to recap is W. We get the sound W from the letter W. We use the sound 
W to say words like wasp, willow and wolf. Practice saying it again. W Wonderful! Let's say it again. Wow! You're doing great! I think we're ready to move on to our fourth sound for today's lesson. Ks. For this sound, welcome our fantastic friend Fox, who joined us before when we learnt how to say F. To say Fox, you need to know how to say F. But you also need to say Ks. Let's practice saying Ks by saying Fox. Fabulous! Let's say it again. Fox. We get the sound X from the letter X. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. X. X. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. X. X. We spell X ray. Fox and xylophone using the letter X. Xylophone is a type of instrument which you might have played before, but it is a hard word to spell, so let's learn how to spell fox instead. We spell fox f o x. Again, we spell fox f o x. Let's spell it once more as a group. Come on, everyone. F-O-X. X is an important sound to know. So well done for paying attention and joining in. And thank you, Fox, for coming along. Next, we're going to learn how to say Y. We spell words like yo-yo, yak and yellow using Y. Let's practice by saying yo-yo. A yo-yo is a toy. Have you played with a yo-yo before? Let's say yo-yo. Brilliant! Let's say yo-yo again. We get the sound y from the letter y. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. Y. Y. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. Y. Y. We spell yo yo. Y. O. Y. O. Again, we spell yo yo. Y. O. Y. O. Let's spell it once more as a group. Come on, everyone. Y. O. Y. Oh. Wow! We've nearly finished learning about the six sounds for today's lesson. We only have one sound left. Z. Last but not least, we're joined by our friend Zebra. Zebra is another animal. Let's practice Z by saying the word Zebra. Are you ready? Zebra. Very good! Let's say zebra again. We get the sound z from the letter z. Let's try saying the two. Repeat after me. Z. Z. Can you hear the difference? Let's say it again. Z. Z. We spell zebra, zoo and zip using the letter Z. Zebra, shall I show you how to spell your name? It's Z. E. B. R. A. Let's practice spelling zebra again. Z. E. B. R. A. One more time. Z. Ah. Thank you, Zebra. You were the perfect guest to teach us how to say Z. 
You and your friends did a lot of work today, Arby. Well done! And remember, practice makes perfect. So let's go through these six sounds again. We get the sound uh from the letter U. We use the sound uh to say words like umbrella, under and usual. Practice saying it again. Uh. One more time. Uh. Superb! We get the sound V from the letter V. We use the sound V to say words like van, viper and view. Practice saying it again. V. One more time. V. Very good! We get the sound W from the letter W. We use the sound W to say words like wasp, willow and wolf. Practice saying it again. W. One more time. W. Wonderful! We get the sound X from the letter X. We use the sound X to say words like X-ray, fox and xylophone. Practice saying it again. X. One more time. X. Excellent! We get the sound Y from the letter Y. We use the sound Y to say words like yo-yo, yak, and yellow. Practice saying it again. Y. One more time. Y. You're doing great. You've been working so hard today and we just have one more letter left. We get the sound Z from the letter Z. We use the sound Z to say words like zebra, zoo and zip. Practice saying it again. Z. One more time. Z. Wow! You've learnt six new sounds today. Amazing work! Thank you for joining our lesson today. I know Arby loves spending time with his friends and we hope you enjoyed learning the alphabet with us. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Spell With Me fun!